my leo friends it is time for your horoscope for the week of november 6th through the 12th let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with our beautiful leos here and this showing me here that you're not feeling so strong um, you're not feeling your feelings you're having a hard time connecting at the moment but getting getting better with the time getting better within these next few days, you start to feel like you can trust again. You can start feeling, you can see who your friends are, who are honest with you and who care about you. So Leo is starting to feel a certain type of way again. So right now we're still kind of lingering with the, trying to connect with our feelings, trying to make sure what's the truth, what's who's real and who's fake to me. So there's a lot of internal things going on here from what you guys have seen in your life so far. And it has made been made clear that you needed to clear out some of these things. Yes, you wish everybody was more more healthy. You had more friends. You had more money. More whatever. But you know, you're you're starting to realize that more doesn't mean better. More means more work, and seeing who we can who we can trust. And and when a Leo trusts, they trust hard. And some signs don't willingly give trust immediately, but Leos like to trust you. They want to see what you're going to give them. But trust me, they are quick to pick up and realize, uh, maybe you're not so trustworthy. But right now you are feeling that it's hard to connect with that feeling, but don't worry, this, this will pass. In these next two, three days, you're going to see that change. So you're going to start appreciating the people who care about you. Strong love starts to come back out. And the knots in the, in the lion's mane will be untangled for you to feel free and powerful again. Even though you don't feel strong right now, you may be feeling that internally. But people on the outside cannot tell that you're feeling weak. Now, certain signs have the ability to tell when that's that weakness comes. And I'm going to tell you right now, I do feel like there's a weakness because you become a little bit quicker with the mouth. You get a little bit more bitchy. And that's how I know when, when a Leo is feeling the stress or not able to connect because they are all about love and, and beauty and strong about one's character. But when they start to feel weak, they get on that aggressive side and they start to show that aggressive side even if it's being short with their words or being short with their time with you. They can only take it in stages and tolerance. And that's anybody, but Leos really do show it. If you pay attention enough, they, they do show it to you. And that should give you an understanding as to when should I, I need to back off this Leo because I'm pissing them off or they're just not in the mood. So just be aware of your Leo friends because they will be the ones that will help you and they will give you strength. But if you piss them off, they'll show you their strength. There's a give and take there. <laughs> so make sure we keep that in balance. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on for work for Leo. All right, our worker, our worker Leos. I know we, we were just talking about feelings and catching up and expecting people to do certain things before you expect people to be clear on what they what they want or what their talents or skills are, it's obvious that you need to be clear about that yourself, about what you are best at, so you can help somebody else move forward with their skills and being able to give insight. Um, your your strengths come in your truths. You guys have amazing truths, and as long as you guys can communicate those truths, you feel empowered. It gives you great strength to be able to share your truths with other people who understand you. So when it comes to your work situation, help those who actually want the help, not the people who are just trying to kill time. And if you are helping those who are just trying to kill time, you'll find yourself frustrated. Do not frustrate yourself with people who are not willing to put in that work. And you will know who these people are just by being around them. So be aware of what's going on. And if you have any issues with, let's say, a management team member 
who's saying, well, you're not helping everybody. You're not helping so-and-so. Well, so-and-so is not helping themselves. Don't be afraid to speak up when the speak when it needs to be spoken because if you hold it in you're just going to look like the bad guy and then you will internalize that and that's not healthy for you all right let's take a look and see what love's got all right when it comes to love in the situation of leo leo you are loving hard right now loving hard and loving strong you know, there's a lot of things that are going on when it comes to the love and the relationship and the supportive, beneficial uh, love from your partner as you're sharing that and them sharing it with you. Um, I see things getting better and better and having more time with your partner um, is going to create a stronger, stronger relationship, which I do feel that we're getting to a point where we're going to be able to spend that time with our our partners if you are looking for someone you're going to find someone who's not going to underestimate you as a matter of fact they're going to see you as strong loving knowing that you would be a great partner in a relationship so those of you leos that are looking for love it's right around the corner for you this is the time for you to be that healthy leo get out of your head don't allow yourself to think negatively allow yourself to think with your strengths See things about yourself that you need to shine. And when that, when that part of you shines, it ain't nothing but a good time. Let's go ahead and take a look at what money is coming to bring. All right. So when it comes to money situations for you, Leos, money should be good. And it's coming in pretty steadily. I don't feel like it's coming in a huge rush. And that's what we would all love. But what I can tell you is as much as you want that big rush of money, don't push it because what you're going to do is find yourself, if you push it, you're going to find yourself without work, meaning you're going to push it and do so much that you're going to have this little dry spell of work and it might slow down really low for you, which will freak you out. It will scare you. You need that stability. So continue on the pace that you are because you're finding yourself at a very steady pace. Finance is a little bit good. Those of you out there looking for a job, do not be too forceful in interviews. Do not come off aggressive because you're at this time, you could come off very aggressive being desperate for money. It will show in your interview and they will not bring you on board. You will actually scare them rather than making them feel that they can work with you. When you can have that warm, fuzzy energy, you're looking more like your claws are out and I'm about to attack. So don't do that to yourselves. Allow yourselves to, to come in easy peasy and not too aggressive. So don't push it. Go with the flow of things because it's easier than to try to swim up river. Don't go against the curtain. Current. I said curtain. Current. Don't go against the current. All right. Let's take a look and see what spirituality has for you. When it comes to spirituality for you Leos out there, please know that spiritual side of you is not a weaker side of you. Sometimes us Leos are looking at this as a weakness rather than a strength. Knowing things about yourself and knowing things about your spiritual practice will definitely benefit you, help you, and strengthen you. Some people do see the spirituality as, oh, it's a form of weakness. Oh, you, you, you do this, that, and the other thing. Don't be hearing that. What you need to be hearing is that if I make my mind sharper, if I by meditating, I'm strengthening myself, I'm becoming a better, a better me. If I'm doing something, I'm releasing what I'm feeling to a priest, a psychic, a preacher, you know, whoever, a rabbi, whoever you are to whatever spiritual belief you may have, your higher power, whoever it is, allow yourself to let go of things to be forgiven for things, forgive yourself for things. It is not weakness. It is strength all the way. This is a time for you to open yourself up to that spirituality so you can find yourself even stronger. We need you strong, Leos. Trust me, we need all that fire we can get because it gets cold out in that universe. So we need all the fire we can get. All right, guys, I hope you Leos do appreciate this horoscope and I will catch you all again next week for some more information about Leo's. Oh,